and joined by Shady Spring Tigers coach Ronnie Olson. Ronnie, a uh, great win for you guys tonight over a, a sectional region rival. Uh, first of all, uh, Cole Chapman with a triple-double tonight. Just talk about his play and what he means to this team. He's our engine, and uh, you know, for every good team, there's a great point guard behind it. You know, uh, it's not so much a good coach as it is a good point guard, and he leads us. You know, I'm a, uh, you know, Braden gets a lot of the pub, he scores, but I mean, uh, Cole, you know, he had a triple double. That's the first one that you know I can remember uh, in a long time. Uh, so that's impressive to have on a high school game against a team like Westside. Uh, you know, he distributes, he rebounds, he defends. He defends the best player usually every night. Um, they take turns, but he always wants to step up and Did do it. Did you have him on uh, McNeely down at Poker? Yeah, um, yeah, he wanted him. You know, he, right. he, he wanted to guard him. And did know? a pretty good job. And, and, and he, he did a really good job. And, and you know, he's obviously a you know, four-star recruit. Uh, Cole wants to take in that challenge, and he wants it. So um, I, I love that about him. And he don't care who he guards. And he's quiet, but that's not, that's not how he is behind closed doors. And that's, that's not how he is in between the lines. What, uh, and, t and Braden, I mean, every night he, can, he comes out now, he sets another uh, career best. Yeah. And, and he did it again. He did it two games ago. He did it last game. Now he's got 37 tonight. Yep. Does it again. I mean, what is there a ceiling for this kid? He, he might be the best player I've seen in five, in five, six years around here. Yeah, Braden's a phenomenal player. And what makes Braden so special is what's in, what's in here and what's on here. And what I mean by that is his chip that he plays with every game. He just plays with that chip that you just can't, you can't teach, you can't coach. He wants to go out and be the best every game. He wants to, uh, you know, get the best of whoever's guarding him. And he, he hates everybody he plays. He just likes every team that he that he plays. And that's what makes him so special because he just has that uh, me against the world mentality. And I think that's what makes what drives him. All great athletes play for something, and he, and he just plays like that every game. And you've had him for two years now, and you've yep. known about him obviously for a long yep. time. Normally. When you're the best player on your best team, he knows he's the best. Is, yeah. is that different about him? And that's another thing. You know, but I you, never get the feeling he's saying that, I, you know, if it wasn't for my teammates, I wouldn't score. That's what he says. Yes, that's, and that's absolutely what he believes. He be, and, and, and I know coaches feel like that's what makes their team special, but these guys could care less. I mean, Braden goes out there to score to win. He doesn't score out there to get buckets, you know. He scores because he feels his team needs it to win, you know, and he just happens to be one of the best players in the state. Uh, you know, if not the best, uh, him and Cole. So um, that's what makes him special. He, you know, he, he's just a, he's a different kid. He's just not selfish. He's, he's, and, and maybe having his brother on the team, you know, and his brothers on the team helped. But uh, that's just the type of kid he is. You know, if he if he gets ten and we win by twenty or thirty, he's happy with it. Or, or do you think at some point things are going to level a bit, a bit, and some other players are going to start? And because you started out that way, yeah. And the, and the, the win against Woodrow. It was a little bit of everybody. But it, here it yeah. seems like Cole Braden is kind of taking the bull by the horns. And, and to his teammates' credit, they got him the ball where he can yeah. be successful. But if, if, if you watch film and you watch the game, you see that Braden doesn't do a lot of things out of context of the offense. He, 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 get, he takes a lot from the defense, don't get me wrong. He'll go get, he'll go get buckets. But you know, he does a lot of things in the flow of the offense. You know, as someone sags off or they don't switch correctly, he does. He does the right plays on offense and, and and within the context of the team. And I think that's what makes him so special. He can and when he feels we need a bucket, you know, he has no problem. And and and, and those get, they've got to guard everybody on the floor, and that, that makes that makes it tough to defend when you got everybody that can score. Do you feel like you're good? I noticed that you were and you were able to. You were subbing a little earlier, maybe you were. Yep. Uh, and I know <laughs> I'm gonna let him finish it up with. The, uh, with a defensive question, but um, do you feel like you're getting a little bit more depth now? Yeah, um, I, I think I've done a bad job of that. Just like we try to look at our players and breakdowns and things we do on film, I look at myself as well, things that I can do better every game. And I don't think I've done a good job of subbing some of our kids out. And I think tonight really showed that uh, we, we're going to be able to play more in the style that we want. And I think tonight was uh, the, the best performance we've had as a group together um, as far as running guys in and out. And I'm, I'm, I'm being able to go down the bench and trust a little more guys to get more minutes here and there. So it's good getting Cole and Braden and Todd some breathers in there. And I think you saw it tonight. We weren't able to lose intensity. We were able to still be able to play that up and down pace that we love to do. You and I have talked about defense for a yep. long time. I know at the end of the first quarter, as soon as your team got over, you said 21 points, guys. Come on. Yeah. I mean, you were yeah. not happy with the defensive play or, yeah. or 
uh, maybe even the effort on defense tonight yeah. in the first quarter? Yeah, 21 is too much in, in, in any in any game. Uh, you know, college. You know, college after eight minutes, that's a lot. So. You know, we, we, we made a challenge to ourselves to play better defense coming out tonight. I didn't think we defended the, 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 the ball very well yet last night versus Juan Manis. They kind of got what they wanted, got to their spots. And I thought we were going to do a better job of coming in. We did that for three quarters, but the first quarter, I just felt like we were trying to just, I don't know what it is. We're just, our first quarters, we've struggled and kept games close. And then obviously we've been able to blow people out. Uh, but um, definitely the first quarter was unacceptable. And the last three quarters, I think we held them to maybe 11 points in the second or something like that. It was, it was a pretty impressive defensive effort the rest of the game. You've had some great players over here in the course of your career, especially your lately, Steve Williams, um, Phil Honick a couple of years ago. Yep. Uh, then you had, obviously, Tommy Williams yep. for four years, Luke the Rose here. Now you've got the challenge. Are you ever able to just sit back and kind of admire what these guys are able to do? I or do. No? Uh, I do, I mean, because uh, it, makes, it makes our school, myself, our community, we take pride in it, make us look better, it makes my job easier, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I heard a quote the other day, and I truly believe it. You know, if your best player is, is playing the hardest on the team, it makes everything else easy, you know. And I truly believe that because you're talking about Braden and Cole, who are our best players, and they play harder than anybody any night. Uh, so, and, and, and they lead by example, and that's important. And it may be cliche, but it's super important. Uh, to us, and, and we take pride in it in the locker room. And, and I sit back, and sometimes I set a play up, and they shoot a three, or they make a pass that I didn't think they do, and I didn't want them to. And what you know, you set plays up to score. So those guys have high basketball IQ, and, and I think everybody on the floor does too. So it's 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 definitely nice to have those two. It makes us look good. How fortunate is a coach to have his two best players being two guys that want to play defense? Uh, very fortunate, you know, and and. and it, and that starts from home, you know, their mom and dad, they discipline, you know, they instill discipline and they played like that growing up. And, and you know, obviously we, we expect that or you can't play here. And, and for them to be challenged and me challenge them on a consistent basis, spotted out on film. Yeah, you had 33 last night, Braden, but you weren't in the stands and you weren't here. Uh, you know, and, and for them to be able to take constructive criticism, that's why I think they're so special. And I, I think they're going to play the next level as well, a, a high next level. Uh, I, I just, you know, we've got a lot of good players. I'm not going to compare who's good r right now, you know, maybe in a couple years. But uh, I, I just enjoy having them on the team and they're a joy to coach because they just play so hard. All right, Ronnie, I appreciate it, man.